okay today we're going to do a painting inspired by a uh, artist in russia called mark Chanel. um i discovered this artist uh i think this artist is very good for us this time of pe this period of time because because we stay at home and because we get to know our family or our surroundings very well because we stay at home we don't go out and yeah and the and this painting is called draw your dream house um i want to talk about this artist called mark Chanel. Uh, Mark Chenal is very colorful, imagination work, imaginary and very exploring artist. He do such a very naive artwork and I'm going to show you a slide of the painting that inspired me uh, in this video. So you guys can see and you guys can, uh, I can um, you guys can see and you guys can uh, observe what is the painting all about all right it, uh, this painting is about um the this about it's about the artist uh village okay there is a cow there is um house behind it and then uh, he used all these kind of symbols so it's very um, interesting paintings all right okay so this is the painting that we're going to do okay it's a very simple painting yet we can do it very interesting it can be very interesting using lines and patterns okay so i'm gonna show you how to do it Okay. In these paintings, there the idea of the paintings is um, I want you to draw uh, your we using your imaginations. Uh, so uh, before you do these paintings, I want you to think about three things that three things that you can hold okay i want you to think about three things that you can hold where do you live and three uh, nature things that you can see inside your house outside or your imaginations uh, and then i want you to draw it inside your art block Okay, so <clears throat> I already draw something like this. Okay, but I'm going to draw it all over again for you. You don't have to draw a human figure inside your drawings but you you can still uh, you but you need to draw th three things that you can hold for example you're going to draw i'm going to draw Just outline of the brush, okay? Yes, and then I'm gonna turn around this art block, and then I'm gonna draw a book because I love to read books. Okay, you can draw. Um, you can draw any kind of 
book if you want like like say if you want to draw a book you can draw it open you can draw it uh draw it the book is um terbuka okay like this Doesn't matter if you think your drawing is not nice, it's okay. Alright, you just practice. This is like a practice, uh, drawing practice that you can do. Okay, and then I want to draw a palette. Then I want to draw behind all these two things. I want to draw my house. Okay, I want to draw the house is a little bit smaller here. Okay, you can overlap it or you can just draw it, draw on top like this. You can overlap. Okay. I live in a house, a small house actually, where okay. in front of my house. So you need to draw three nature things, right? So in front of my house, there is a tree that I always like to do it, to see. Okay, maybe I want to draw it over here. This. I want you to fill up all the um, all the ruang uh, kosong all the empty space. Okay, so that I don't want to draw a full. Uh, a full tree. I just want to draw the leaves like this. You don't have to see. I all draw all over the place. I don't draw like a house here and then there is tree. You can put. Uh, uh, the objects that you want to draw everywhere, anywhere that you want inside the drawing block.
Okay, now is the interesting part. You can add patterns here. Okay, you can add maybe the house. You can add lines. You don't need to color everything. And then the house, you can put the lines. brushes you don't have to color it you can just put lines like this okay and then at the tree actually it's a cherry tree so I don't put cherries Interesting. See? Like that. Okay. And then you can put the wind. Yes. Maybe the wind is over here. How you do the wind? Painting becomes interesting. Okay, lines, patterns. Right. So I have a drawing that I already done. This one. So I'm gonna color it with watercolor. See, this is me. Okay. Three things that I hold is my brushes, my books, and my palette here. And then I live in a house. You can draw a castle, you can draw a house, whichever your dream house would be, okay? So I love, I love bushes, okay? And it's not bushes, I mean, I love trees. I love um, all this green green stuff okay so i put a lot okay i hope that my dream house have a lot of greens a lot of trees so and then i love to see all this leaf falling down so i put trees and then i put stars here okay all right so i'm gonna color it with watercolor Okay, 
kids. Hello. Okay. After you done the drawing like this, so I show you up close what the picture looks like. Okay. So as usual, we are going to paint the drawing that we've done here okay so uh before you paint what you need to um aware is whether you want it to be um, a sunny day or uh it's at night okay so if you want to you if you want your painting to be bright colors sunny daylight so you need to use um, warm colors such as you need to use yellow orange you can use ochre here and you can use red and pink all right you can mix your colors all right like that okay so I'm gonna I'm going to show you if you want to to be it sunny or you want it to be dark all right so this drawing this is going to be um a day like uh sunny uh, warm color paint uh water color painting okay as usual when you use watercolor, the more water you use, the lighter the lighter color will be show. Okay. This is you can color it everything yellow here yes because the sunlight remember that I already paint all these white stars. Okay, it will be appeared here. I'm sorry. So as you guys can see, and I'm gonna mix my color, my sunny bright color with a little bit of orange up here. So it become more warm and bright. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna fast forward this process, okay? Right. can mix the orange and yellow And put a little bit of red.
then down here you can put So as you guys can see this painting it's like it, it can be a story okay you guys can say okay for me this is what I want uh, for my dream house okay I love a small house like this okay and then inside my house it's going to be a studio and then it's going to be something somewhere that I can read books all day and I can paint and then I love all the trees I love green and I love sunny and I love windy so this is like a story that you can tell your friends or your family and then this is like a sunny day like um, like warm colored uh, water color if you want it to be dark okay guys can use okay this is another drawing that i already draw okay if you want you can draw yourself here your self portrait or if you don't want to you can you can just ignore you can do um, the previous one that I already teach you okay so if you want uh, a cool color uh, you, you just want to say I love I love night uh, I love to spend my my I like to read books at night I, I love night time so you guys can use cool color okay what is cool color oh, sorry because i already use it cool color is green purple blue okay and then pink that is cool color you can mix these three four colors to become very nice cool color okay So I'm going to show you. Okay. I'm going to use blue for my background here. So as I can say, so as I say, the more water you use, the more lighter color will turn up. 
the less water you use the more brighter color you can it will be turn up like this i use i use little amount of color uh, water sorry. so i'm gonna fast forward this After you finish using blue, you can add another color. You can use dark green. Okay, you can put dark green over here. Okay, if you want to. If you don't want to use watercolor, you want to use crayon, crayon all the way. That is up to you. Okay, it's your, uh, it's your choice. You can use it. Okay, but if you want to use crayon, you need to use it very, um, very neatly because if not, then your painting is not gonna very, not gonna be very nice. When you try to color with crayon. Color it neatly. Don't don't uh, don't show any white spots like this. Okay. Then I want to add a bit of purple down here. Okay, show it up close. Okay, because my up block is very thin. Okay, I cannot go out to buy a new up block, so I use a thin up block. So I cannot put layers on this kind of up block. Alright, but if you want to put more watercolor, more layers, if your up block can support, then. Uh, you can do it all right so here is my drawing finish okay i'm going to show these pictures here as your reference uh, on the whatsapp group
Okay, I hope that you guys enjoy my video. Uh, feel free to uh, ask questions inside the group. Okay, please show me your pictures of your uh, finishing drawings. Yes, sometimes I cannot uh, answer all of your um, messages because at home, my at my mom's house, I don't have any lines there, very limited. Uh, when I have the line and I'm gonna answer all the questions. I hope everyone be safe, stay at home with your family, be creative, do all the good things at home, help your mother, do drawings and read books. I see you guys on the next video, okay? Bye!